Okay, everybody. Today we are going to talk about what is the sum of all natural numbers: one plus two, plus three, plus four, plus five, plus everything else that that's followed. So to do this sum, we have to do another two sums first. Let's discuss. This first sum, let's call it sum a. So, what is the sum of one minus one plus one minus one plus one minus one plus one, and going forever? Okay, so it seems like it's going to be one, then zero, then one, then zero, then one, then zero. So how can we actually arrive to a result of this? Let's say if we are looking at one minus s sub a, then we have one minus one minus one plus one minus one plus one minus one, right? And、uh, forever. If we break up this bracket, then we have one minus one. So,、uh, let me let me put this at its natural quote unquote position. So this one become minus one. This minus one became plus one. The minus one plus one minus one plus one minus one plus dot dot dot. Right. So, as you can see. One minus one plus one minus one plus one minus one plus one. This is exactly as sub a. So what is this telling us? That means one minus s a equals to s a. So that means one equals to two s sub a. So s sub a equals to a half. Which kind of makes sense because since, like like we said in the beginning, the result of s sub a is rotating between one, zero, one, zero, one, zero, one, zero, right? So it's kind of natural if this goes on to infinity, then it is kind of natural if this goes on indefinitely, then. We are going to do an average to evaluate this sum. Okay, let's discuss another sum, which is s sub b equals to one minus two plus three minus four plus five minus six plus dot dot dot. This is basically just rotating the plus signs and minus signs for every. Two numbers for all the odd numbers, they are positive. For all the even numbers, they are negative. So how are we going to get a result of this? So we already have s sub a that's available. Remember, it's one minus one plus one minus one plus one, right? So if we do this little thing, s sub a minus s sub b, then we have one minus one plus one. Minus one plus dot 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 minus one minus two plus three minus four plus dot dot dot. If we break this off, then that is one minus one plus one minus one plus dot 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 minus one plus two minus three plus four minus dot dot dot. Then we can start pairing off each of these numbers. In such a fashion, so one minus one, plus one minus one, plus one minus one. Okay, I think six is enough. So I'm gonna write plus dot dot dot. Then I'm going to turn to the second row by writing s sub b as minus one, plus two, minus three, plus four, minus five. Plus six minus dot dot dot. 
we're doing the calculations of everything that's paired off vertically. So 1 minus 1, 0. Minus 1 plus 2, plus 1. Plus 1, minus 3, minus 2. Minus 1 plus 4, plus 3. Plus 1, minus 5, minus 4. And then plus 5. So you can see the pattern. That is 1 minus 2 plus 3 minus 4 plus 5 minus 6 plus 7 dot dot dot. So what is that? Let's look at that. That is, since it's 0 plus 1, so we can actually just get rid of this, this 0. That is exactly S sub B. So that means, so S sub A minus S sub B equals to another S sub B. So that means S sub A equals to 2 S sub B, which means S sub B equals to 1 half of S sub A. And we already knew that S sub A is a half. Then that means S sub B is 1 half times 1 half equals to 1 fourth. Huh. Interesting. We're getting somewhere. So now let's do one more thing. All right. So just a reminder, S sub B is 1 minus 2 plus 3 minus 4 plus 5 minus 6. What are we going to do right now is we want to do S sub B minus S sub N. This is going to be 1 minus 2 plus 3. So uh, instead of doing the brackets, let's just line up everything. All right. Let's just line up everything. So 1 minus 2 plus 3 minus 4 plus 5 minus 6 plus dot dot dot. And we are subtracting S sub N. So we are subtracting every single natural numbers like this. So if we are doing the sum vertically again, 1 minus 1, 0, minus 2, then minus 2, so minus 4, plus 3, minus 3, 0, minus 8, 0, minus 12, then the next one is plus 7, minus 7, so that's another 0. Let's let's write a few more, okay? Let's write a few more. So 7 minus 8 plus 9 minus 10. Okay, let's do until 10. So minus 8 minus 9 minus 10. Now the next term is minus 16, 0 minus 20. Are we seeing a pattern yet? We can just get rid of all the zeros. So that means we have minus 4, minus 8, minus 12, minus 16, minus 20 left. Let's have a look at this. So every single number here is a multiple of negative 4. So let's take negative 4 out. So in the brackets, we are left with 1, minus 8. So we have to do plus 2, right? because minus 4 times 2 is negative 8. Then plus 3, plus 4, plus 5, plus 6, you know, dot, dot, dot. Okay. Now we have something familiar again. In this bracket, we actually have S sub n don't we? So if we are going to do this, remember in the first place, we have S sub B minus S sub N. And then the result is negative four S sub N. S sub B minus S sub N equals to negative four S sub N. We organize this a little bit. That means S sub B equals to V plus S sub N on each side. So we have negative 3 S sub N. 
So as sub n equals to negative one third s sub b. But we know what s sub b is. s sub b is one fourth. We can use this result to say s sub n equals to negative one third multiplied by one fourth. Wait a second. That's a negative one twelfth. S sub n, the sum of all natural positive numbers equals to negative one twelfth. How is this possible? So this is this is something we use in the string theory. And this sum is called Ramanujan summation. And this result actually has a really big impact in the area of general physics. Like we said in the last video, we can all call something an infinity, right? So the, the sum of all natural numbers, we can just easily say this is infinity. But as we have seen in this process, we actually have a way to assign a value to this infinity instead of just calling it infinity. So this kind of method has all kinds of applications in other fields like complex analysis, string theory, quantum field theory, and um, which, which we won't talk about in this video. So we're just going to stop it right here. And I'm going to see you in the next little topic. Bye for now.